Welcome to yet another amazing episode of DevOps Party Games. This evening, we are playing in the EMEA-friendly time zone. So this is uh, Season 2, Episode 5 in our EMEA League of DevOps Party Games. And uh, we're glad we're glad you're here. I am one of your hosts. My name is Matt Stratton, and joining me in the co-host chair would be... That would be me. Your host that can boast the most roast. Coming to you live from Paris and in terrible need of a haircut. My name is Dan, and I am pleased as punch to be here co-hosting this, the fifth edition of the DevOps Party Games EMEA edition. We've got a great lineup for you this evening. Let's go ahead and meet. Oh, (laughs) what just happened? Well, that was that was fun. Mute button. (gasps) Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my it's god! Never used a mute please, button. Please, please invite me back. <laughs> oh, it, it, trust me, we people have done far worse. If that's than, the worst uh, thing that happens, yes. So let's meet our players. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us tonight uh, to kick things off is Rin. Hey, I'm Rin. I am live from Berlin, and Matt called me awesome earlier, so I will accept it. Thank you. <laughs> That's high praise. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the keyboard shortcut to. Taping is hard, Matt. I there it is. A, there we go. I got it. I remembered. I did it. There. <laughs> Next player. Go, Dan. Hey, everybody. Look, it's Kareem. Kareem, why don't you say hello to everybody? Hey, everybody. Thanks for having us. Awesome to be here. Uh, my name is Kareem. And just excited to be here. Talk about Asian whiskey. That's what this is about, right? Yeah, why not? Yes. Yeah, it'll work. Also, pleased to welcome and apparently won't be welcoming back. Uh, just kidding. Jen. That was when you unmute, Jen. Now would be the right time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's like I've never Zoomed before. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm Jen underscore with an underscore. Uh, I'm coming at you live at three o'clock in the afternoon uh, after kicking my kid off his French class so I could be here. Uh, Our internet's terrible. Jen underscore with an underscore and right here on Twitch for randomness. Yay. Thanks. Bye. Hooray hooray for randomness. Next up, we've got the one, the only, the unforgettable, the inimitical Jill. Hey, y'all. Thank you for having me back. I am excited to be here from the beautiful international city of St. Louis, Missouri. (laughs) Um, Also a fun fact, it's an international fact. My wife and I have been talking about traveling again at the end of the year because today we're getting our first vaccine. Very excited. So we see the light at the end of the tunnel. And we are re-reminded that flying anywhere from St. Louis is a pain in the ass because there is no flights. There is no good flights out of St. Louis. We'll be doing a lot of uh, plane hopping a few months into our future, hopefully. Hey, whatever it takes to get you to Chicago, Joe, even <laughs> if it's just for the airport. Yes. I'm also pleased to uh, welcome another new player to the DevOps Party Games family, Adam. Hey, I'm Adam. Thanks for having me. I'm I'm over here in Paris with Frosty, and I'm not sure if it is a Parisian thing or something, but I also need a haircut. One year not touched to the day. What's impressive is you wouldn't know what to look at me, but I've had several haircuts. <laughs> That's the DevOps the game. Yes. Hi, I'm Stormy, and I'm from Cape Town Island. That's not great. I'm pretty sure you've got better stuff in Paris. I don't know why I'm here, because I, I'm, I'm not really a DevOps, more of a 6.9x dev in St. Clear. Um, am I allowed to say that? Yeah. You're here more for the party it, games so, and yeah. less of the DevOps. Well, you've got the right queer for the job. Really excited to have Sheila joining us as well. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited to be here as well. Um, I'm based out of um, Amsterdam, and um, it's so nice to see everyone. Uh, I'm part of DevOps Days Amsterdam, 
and um, like seeing everyone is is like you know it's it's nice to have everyone <laughs> meet meet up together but um, since it's been a while at least this is a nice way to connect with everyone I'm so glad to see you all and looking forward to this I'm looking forward to have some fun and kick some ass there we go <laughs> challenge extended and who do we have who's our last player Dan well the man needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. Please you know do. him, you love him. If you've seen DevOps Party Games before, I'm sure you've seen his lovely, beautiful face. Give it up for Jeremy. Hello, I am glad to be here. First time player, long time host. Is that the, that the right way to do that? I think that works. Uh, yeah, I am on the other side of the state from Jill uh, in Kansas City. Uh, we also have not great selections of uh, of of uh, uh, airlines, but uh, I you know I love flying out of Minneapolis, Atlanta, or uh, you know anywhere I can avoid Chicago. So uh, yep, but I'm glad to be hey here. Now. Looking forward to this. It's going to be a great time. Hey, I love you, Matt, but your airport sucks. Which airport? I mean, it's still a true statement. Here. <laughs> So players, uh, I've gone ahead and uh, shared the screen. You can get started. So what we're going to do, our first game tonight we're playing is Quiplash. And as soon as all the players are in, we'll go ahead and move on along to that. And players, go ahead and get, uh, Adam, go ahead and press uh, everybody's in. So if you're watching the stream and this is new to you, there is a fun little button. It looks kind of like a package and you'll be able to use that to join the audience. If you've uh, watched the stream before, you might recall having to go to a web browser and type in a code and stuff. You can still do that, but you can do it right inside the Twitch stream. So as our players are getting started, uh, Dan and I are gonna explain a little bit about how this game works. Sorry to interject, but is it meant to be audio from the No, screen? no, you, you will not. Players will not hear audio from the game. Trust me, we've tried. You'll go head to head against someone else. Yeah, you don't want to hear it anyway. It's the same stuff over and again because our voices are much nicer than whatever audio the game is capable of producing. Uh, so, Matt, for those of those members of the audience who have never seen the game before, what, what are they? What should they be expecting from this round? So, so what's happening is all of the players right now are getting on their uh, mobile device of choice. Um, a prompt. Actually, they're going to get two. Maybe it's something like, for example, um, what's the one thing you wish somebody told you about GraphQL or something else tech or cloud or, or DevOps oriented? And then they need to reply to that prompt in whatever they think is a good way, a funny way, maybe a clever way, a snarky way, or possibly a just very true way. Then uh, the prompts are going to go head to head because two people got the same prompt and we're going to all both the players and you, the audience, are going to vote on which you think is the best one. And best is relative. Vote the way that you want. And audience, I cannot stress enough how influential you can be in the outcome of this game. We have had many rounds where the players all vote one way and the audience votes another and they swing the game. So... Please uh, please make sure you join the audience. Again, you can clicky click on that little package button or you can go to jackbox.tv and type in the code YTTP if uh, that makes you happy to do things uh, that way. So press the box, join Jackbox TV, YTTP. We do need that audience participation. And I say need. The reason we need that audience participation is because it decides who wins and who loses. And that of course is the most important thing in life or the most important thing to get on the DevOps Thought Leaderboard, which we'll talk a little bit a bit more a little later on this episode. Let's make some noise. So here we go. I think we've got them all in, and let's see what our first matchup is. First matchup of the night is going to be blank is the new Y2K. 2020 or certs <laughs> expiring. Audience, get your votes in. Good. And uh, players, you also <laughs> can can vote um well, both of those both of those are terrifying but for different reasons i would say yeah yeah it's not the same picture not I mean, too far off well uh, not, well no. yeah oh. wow wow that did not go the way i thought it was gonna go but well, yeah, that's why no, i'm well. a host and not a judge i guess would be the way to say that next up 
So well, nice I guess this there. is DevOps party games and certs expiring. I mean, they yeah. do. Yeah. What right animal best represents DevOps? Panda, we're always fun and you love us. Or Man Bear Pig. Is Rain playing? I think I missed that. Oh, that's a different online stream. I got confused. <laughs> They're all blurring together. They kind of are. They kind of are. Don't forget to, uh, for other online DevOpsy type streaming fun, uh, there's the fun um, Man Bear Pig. Uh, tabletop DevOps that I you can find it. Jill, I appreciate Ma it. I, Man Bear was Pig good. was a deep cut. Come on, it was yeah. a good one. That was, that was <laughs> gone. And look at this. I'll, I'll give you say, yeah. uh, game, in game, an audience diverged. And the it's audience not open source set unless the you whine about no one submitting PRs. That That is the first rule of open source. Say PRs welcome, but they never seem to come. At least that happens on all my projects. Which is why you find me arguing with myself. Because you're doing all of them yourself. You do. You find you're me doing arguing all with yourself. myself in a GitHub issue. So, <laughs> Which is, you know, great comic relief. Do you ever reject your own PRs just to feel Ooh. something again? I th I'm going to now. <laughs> on, a, a, on, a, a, on a nightly basis. <laughs> power play. Because I oh, speaking sharing. of, I didn't merge your PR because <laughs> not enough cat <laughs> gifts. Pick your favorite clip. Uh, Legit. Yeah. Or because of a typo uh, that resulted in The typo in was then gifts. the URL to the cat gift was wrong. So it didn't work. Yeah, exactly. So. Basically, all PRs be made 100% better by cat gifts. I mean, end of story. I don't know. Are the hosts supposed to try to sway the answers? Is that fair? Well, just don't do what Jeremy does in Drawful and give the answer away. That may or may not have happened. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Sheila with the win. Well done. Ooh. Undocumented feature of Kubernetes is Kube actually will cuddle you if you ask. <laughs> Speaking of doing something just to feel again. Yeah. That's right. I mean, you got to spin up Kubernetes just to be yes. loved. No. So the worst thing is dead air. And yes, anytime, okay. if you hear the dead air, if the hosts aren't talking oh, your ear off, this is a good time for happened. you as a player to jump in and say listen, something ridiculous. Listen, I embarrass myself off the top, so now I'm like, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> That's a feature, not a bug. Like, about the lack of cuddling. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's, here's the thing. If you want me to talk, I can talk. I will just talk a lot, so... <laughs> One, One check, check never include in your CI/CD pipeline. Are you still enjoying your job? <laughs> am, <Or> I? <laughs> am I? Am I? That's, that's 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 wow, that was. Yeah, I, I I think that would be a great check. Are you still enjoying your job? <laughs> like that would be like a linting linting thing that would go in your CI/CD yeah. pipeline, right? <laughs> I agree. I think that should be like you know Human basically right job okay. driven development, like enjoyment driven <laughs> development, really. Yep. Uh, that's the next step off the race. The real question is, would any of us actually develop after that? Yeah, probably not. It was, you know. Oh, another not. name for infrastructure as code is unlimited magic. Or state drift, yes. <laughs> I would also have accepted thundering herd. <laughs> thundering herd. Man bear pig would have been another one to put in here, too. Exactly. Or bash scripts. Eventual, Jill, eventual, eventual that, like, consistency. That just gives, continues to give me a little giggle. Man bear pig, I'm going to... I, I watched it. it not that long ago. It still hits. Uh, so <laughs> and it takes snaps. So state drift, because of course that's the true answer. Well done, Sheila. Where's the lie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. The worst advice I've ever gotten on Twitter was to follow Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is this this would be try terrible, DevOps. Terrible they advice. said it'll be fun. The, they said. This, these are almost similar, yes. though. This Aaron says in the chat, eventual inconsistency. <laughs> that oh, is. Cattle Wids. hustling. Wids, cattle hustling. That, yes, it is. <laughs> Who's telling people on Twitter to try DevOps? Yeah, uh, you know, the first, I joined the first deploy is free. Okay. Then it's going to wow, start to cost Wow, you. Jill. Well done, Ren. What the hell? That's what happens to me. It's People just, were like, Jill, it it's seems just you like and you're I. having a bad time with bash I. scripts. Try DevOps and look where <laughs> I am now. Yeah. <laughs> but are you still in German? 
DevOps is right. described so to me out. as a way for a company to pay one less person was DevOps. I don't know. In my experience, right. it ends up having to employ way more people. So <laughs> you deployed like Kubernetes lately? Talk to each other. What so was the, the, so who was who was leading at the end of that round? Karim. So okay. if you uh audience while while the players are are working on their next round, if you would like to uh be on a future episode of DevOps Party Games or know someone who would be a great uh great addition, you can suggest to us. I put the link in the chat. It's at devopspartygames.com slash suggest player. And likewise, if you'd like to uh suggest new prompts for the game. You can do that too through handy dandy web forms powered by Airtable. Airtable is the unofficial sponsor of DevOps Party Games, according to Dan. I so, want to stress the unofficial part. Very unofficial. <laughs> Unless they'd they, like to uh, give us money. And I'd that they probably don't it. know we exist. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've been trying to get Jackbox to know we exist for a while. This is but. true. So the suggest player form, by the way, is not... Uh, only for suggesting a third party. If you would like to suggest yourself, that is a completely valid use case for the suggest player forum. And in fact, there are people on the show that have been on the show just recently that have suggested themselves and we're going to be appearing on a future episode. So please, if you're interested in getting silly on main with us here at DevOps Party Games, hit up devopspartygames.com slash suggest dash player. I think you can, I think it works without the dash. I think I, I made that work too. Try it, let me know. If not, submit a PR to our repo to fix that, please. PR is accepted. God knows you already won't first. do it. Yeah, I won't. All right. I'm excited for round two. Not that I wasn't excited for round one. But, you know, it's like round two, we kind of got it shaken off. We got a feel. Maybe some callbacks are going to happen. I turned off page duty when this happened. 1998. <laughs> oh, my. I feel very young. But it doesn't happen. I, I vaguely remember 1998. <laughs> I did Do have you? a two-way oh, paper in 1998. Do you? It's, very, it's fuzzy. Uh, it's fuzzy. It's I very fuzzy. It it... <laughs> oh, oh, wow, Jill. But what does the audience oh, think? So... The audience thinks Jill oh, is nice. Oh. Then Jill. Uh, I was like, wow, this is not a US-based audience. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that being, you know, feeling that way is fairly universal. Global. Yeah. My prediction of was years. we will rediscover the world outside of Kubernetes or that pro certification will finally be updated. So one of these hmm. two things is plausible, <laughs> but only one yeah, of but them. Era what about DevOps? Linux on the desktop, finally? <laughs> yeah. so they yeah, Linux on Mars. Like, declaring victory with Android or something, and they're like... Yeah. Oh, the audience oh, nice is going to decide, and the audience decides that Adam takes it. See, audience, I'm very happy. you matter. We have... Maybe we'll get VR. Oh, now. describe DevOps in just one word. Shit posting or yakception. And now, pick your favorite. <laughs> I thought it was Fuck. member pick. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's this is where the callbacks <laughs> could be happening, right? So yeah, that would have been perfect. It's the gift <laughs> so we're giving. I'm so sorry. the thing about <laughs> if you've I never seen the show before, ADHD DevOps. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never seen the show before, if you've ever played before shit posting, along with along with a certain unnamed AWS commenter, is basically the correct answer to every question. Yeah. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that trash fire wasn't wasn't one of the options. Yeah. <laughs> K8 site generate right. and another another right. generator. <laughs> as long as it has Kubernetes, Yegovs. it's going to be. Yegovs. I'm definitely going to hang on. I got to go create a new repo called Yegovs. This, yeah, this this might work, yeah, especially. Yeah, this especially sounds for, like it'll uh, Aaron. Who, yeah, I'm slightly as long, as long as that platform has native integration with log squirt, I think we'll be OK. Yes. Yeah. I'll make it Logs happen. That IO. Full replace appreciated. Oh, this was tough. And oh, 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 oh. it's going to split. Oh, I super oh. Oh. Right, oh. Look at that. I super <laughs> liked it, Stormy. Yeah. Yeah. I super liked it. I'm all, I'm here for Yegas. Appreciate it. It's like when okay. I'm about this. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> the best reason to write your own database engine is none. <laughs> yes, that is the correct answer. Oh, none. Yep. Or you're a sucker for punishment. I mean, it right. could be a self-loathing thing. That's totally valid. Yeah. yeah. Usually that means... Simply be solved all use cases. Job. I mean, do you like wearing clown shoes? Is that a thing you enjoy? <laughs> I mean, I could. And oh, see, Jen, I I like this. So. Oh, thank you. Your your mom see, would have voted. We like we we're, we're 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 on the same wavelength yeah, there. Yeah. Next one up. Appreciate it. The one good thing about DevOps certifications is they don't help. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Oh, say so, uh, okay. Let's open this up down. to the audience. Is there any good things about DevOps certifications? Like brass tacks here. What what can we say? You know, they always audience, say if audience, nothing good what to is, say. What is the least worst thing about DevOps certifications? There you go. So you I have don't even know how you thing. sell DevOps as a certification to people. Well, and you just put it on DevOps.com. Storm, Stormy, as, I've, as I'm fond of saying, you can't buy DevOps, but I certainly can sell it to you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I well mean, like, is, uh, oh, the alt recently yeah. unconscious bias training came up in like a DMI uh, framework, and it's like <clears throat> you do not realize that that doesn't work. It's but like, sad endeavors. So it depends on after yesterday. It depends on Active Directory and yeah, <laughs> otherwise everything melts. <laughs> that was literally what I was typing up, but my time ran out. And it was supposed to be depends on active directory. The alternate product name for Azure DevOps is Stop Squatting Thank on My Joe. Podcast Acronym. I got your back. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's what got the points. There you go. That's it. it you know. I was going to put it's just. Oh, I really want to see this but... one. Yeah. Was... Oh. My job description doesn't include this, but it should. I'm sensing it. A lot of crying. Yeah. There's a lot of. <laughs> wow. Crying this is the. Uh... Big mood. Common theme there. And you know, this isn't just a 2020 thing. For those of us who've been doing the DevOps for the past decade or so, crying has been a thematic. Yeah, but this yes. year, crying yes. where Zoom can't see me, I think that's right. Crying. Well, at least you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the winner is Rin. Rin. I'm just yeah. getting to cry in data centers. They're so loud. Yeah. There's so much background noise that no one can hear you. Okay, only one round. Right, no one can hear you scream. Okay, okay. let's see where we stand here at the end of round two. Does Grim keep his place at the top? No, Jeremy. Wow, the fix is in. Boom. Right it's and as now if you saw the prompts ahead of time. It is, except that I don't <laughs> I think didn't. Jeremy remembers how to look at it. I stayed out of the channel for purpose. Yeah. So, and it's an air table. Going into uh, Thriplash, the slight difference here is uh, each player is going to get one prompt that has three answers in some type of format of things that are three. So this is the, the time when talking about saying the same thing all the time. When we talk about how things were like in the olden days of the, er in the early days of DevOps party games when we played the earlier version of Quiplash. And in the earlier version of Quiplash, you could not put in custom content for the final round, which meant that almost invariably the prompt that was provided by the game was just right there on the edge of the code of conduct or sometimes just like barreling right over it. But it is what got us logsport.io. So, you know, that's, we, we can't complain about it too much. And Dan would have been very sad if I didn't tell that story as I always do. It's true. It's become sort of a, a tradition on the show to, to tell that story. And uh, maybe it's sort of like the thing, you know, when, when the monkeys leave the Rock of Gibraltar, the United Kingdom will crumble or whatever. And I kind of feel like it, if we don't tell that story every time now, something bad is going to happen. So uh, I'm pretty sure something bad is going to happen regardless. No matter what. <laughs> this is DevOps. So, yeah. Right. So I put a couple links in the chat. Um, so uh, occasionally we make t-shirts uh, from from great prompts available for you to, to purchase. You can get those at devopspartygames.com slash store. You can order shirts from the Drawful game later, but the shirts we provide are of you know, better quality. Um, but we don't we won't make them. Any whatever, go check out our store, buy some shirts. Or want. not, I'm not the boss of you. Oh, Wait. that's an What do we got? The three hard things. I only put, I only put in one. 
Oh, oh my God. actually, I was, I was like, I think damn it. it works. I think that, that actually does work. works. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. All right. I got to right. tell you that that's. Uh... <laughs> Look, I don't want to sway the audience, but sleeping is the correct answer. <laughs> so <laughs> it's got to be. But there was there was a callback snuck into that. Uh, Try to be snuck into the last one there. So I appreciate a good callback. But I haven't seen any man bear pig callbacks yet. And um, that's, you know, yeah, it's a shame. There you go, Jen. Well done, See? Jen. Yeah, I got one! Well <laughs> Oof, and an audience favorite. At least we're in the All right, days. three <laughs> tips for DevOps success. The third one will shock you. Hey, Dan, today we learned you can't put a long dash in Quiplash. Hey, look the at that. did it. Yeah, so as it turns out, the M dash is not an acceptable character. Yeah. <laughs> so three tips. Get your blog in Kubernetes. Get something. And then get you out. Or always get shit postings, back away and shit post some more. Maybe that's like HTTP get. Maybe that's what they're going yeah. for there. Uh, yeah. That or could it could be, be it could it be git like but afterwards? Like it's the after effect of git? It, yeah. Get, it was supposed to be the after get effect. Got. Of git. Yeah. <laughs> get get got. Yeah. Anyway, it didn't win. Anyway, the three biggest lies about containers <laughs> is <laughs> full OS distributions, no curl. <laughs> Run repeatedly from latest. <laughs> It'd solve all your problems. Uh, so these are both correct. <laughs> yeah. I mean, vote your conscience on this How one, seriously. Pick? Yeah. The full OS distributions and no curl, that, that hits hard, though. I got to be honest with you. I'm sorry. I got real excited today because we, we had a use case for attaching our uh, debug side pop it's a debug problem and then figured out a way to do it without having to edit the deployment. Damn. Looks like Adam got the swoop on that nice. one. Nice. Wow. Okay. And yeah, I think well this done. is the three pillars of observability. Peace, love, and crying. <laughs> developers, <laughs> developers. Dev look, squirrel! Okay, choose your Ooh, this is a tough one. I got to vote Again, for the no comment. lies. Yeah. No lies detected. But Depending you know, on the outcome back. of this, uh, I've actually got a whole bunch of market marketing copy to rewrite. So choose wisely, people. Just rewrite it no matter what. Oh, yeah, Aaron makes like a good it. point. Missed opportunity oh. for both of you, man. Bear, I know. Hey. I know. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. Thought about that after. Glory or tragedy awaits. And so let's see how we end audience. up here. may have been replaced with And our final result is going to be the winner is yeah. Adam. Oh, Adam. Wow. Good Way job, go, Adam. Adam. Containers. Containers solve all your problems and make you win <laughs> <Yes>. DevOps games. <laughs> so, uh, Jeremy, why don't you go ahead and grab that? I got that, it. Uh, that got link it. for me. So we're going to go ahead and move to our next game you got it jeremy all right so players yep. i'm gonna go ahead I'm and it. you can start joining the drawful round now players if you would feel so uh inclined and actually even if you don't feel inclined it'd be pretty good if you did it because <laughs> otherwise you know so from the chat we've got uh, a certain seth carlo who's unfamiliar with the myth the legend the unescapable the unbreakable Man, bear, pig doesn't know what it is. Doesn't know so, where it comes from. Hey, it's Ren. Tragedy. Don't worry. I don't know either. Even though everybody's so joined, wait till they draw their picture before. But as soon as you see everybody's picture, you can go ahead and press the go button. So I'm counting on you, audience, to to educate uh, those of us who are unfamiliar with the legend. <laughs> I'm also saying this in order to encourage you watching this on YouTube after the fact to join us live on the Twitch stream. It's a lot of fun. The audience, uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on. The audience obviously impacts the game through voting, but the, the, the Twitch chat is a lot of fun. We like to interact as well, as you can see here. So if you are watching this after the fact, what one, thank you. It's always good to get those. Be sure to smash the like and subscribe or whatever it is you're supposed to say. But do join us live on Twitch. We really have a good time. Also, Man Bear Pig is from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> And you should look right. it up because it's even more, it makes even more sense today what Man Bear Pig actually is. <laughs> South Park always calls the future. So as soon Simpsons. as Adam yes. and Jen are done drawing their self-portraits, uh, Rin, you can kick <laughs> us off. 
<laughs> Sorry. That's uh, okay. You know, there's no no timer. It's Someone being is an artist. Weird. I'm using no. I'm using DuckDuckGo on my phone, and it's garbage. Sorry for this. <laughs> for uh, I'm just like I gotta switch. I'm not going to. So it's just gonna be awful. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's good. Off. Oh, frick. Pro okay, DevOps we'll party game trick. Get your excuses in early. <laughs> right. Seriously, it keeps on going back. We, I think it's got gestures can we, can or something. Can we use words, Matt? Oh, that's a good. That's a good this? point. Um, yes. So here's the rules. So um, okay. whether or not you can write words in your drawing, I mean, you could have written words in your self-portrait. I don't care. But when you're drawing your prompt, you cannot use. Um, uh, so no warning about only two colors. We actually told the players earlier before we started recording that they get no erase button, but they do get two colors. Um, anyway, you can write words, but they can't be words that are in the prompt. So normal, you know, kind of password rules apply. Uh, basically, on DevOps party games, our philosophy is if it feels like cheating, it probably is. So you should all be getting your prompts on your device. You can start drawing them away. Uh, audience, you should be able to... Uh, when you get prompted, you know, we got the same thing. Audience, what you're able to do here is you don't get to vote for what you think the right answer is, but you get to vote for what your favorite answer is. Because the number of likes that someone gets is influential to their ranking on the thought leaderboard. Um, which, so if you uh, want to know who is leading on the thought leaderboard, we had a excellent little prompt is dropped into the Twitch chat at devospartygames.com slash scoreboard. You can see uh, basically who's at uh, the top of the pops. Uh, I'm not even old enough to remember that reference, but the thought leaderboard is in many ways mirroring the DevOps lifestyle or at least the social media version thereof. The people that appear the most and are the noisiest tend to get the most points. And how to do that? They get that because you, the audience, uh, feed their narcissism and we love you for it. So definitely vote for the answers that you think are the best because the people who are going to be at the top of the DevOps leaderboard at the end of this season uh, may get something. They all, may also get nothing except bragging rights, but hey, that's pretty we good. We have Tim, Tim Banks has put in a pitch that there needs to be an actual championship belt and we might just have to figure out how to make that happen. Yeah. Maybe we should think about sponsors, Maddie. No, see, wanna... the problem with having a sponsor is once someone gives you money, then you have to actually do something for the money. So, oh, yeah, that's to work, work for money. money. I'll tank your brand score, like, <laughs> which is uh, trying right. out now. All right, so we're gonna... okay. there we go. We've got our drawing. So what's happening now, audience, is that they all had something they had to draw. Now we're going to see a drawing, and the players all have to write down a believable guess as to what the fuck. Um. Well, yeah, so is it, the question I believe is, that is, what is it? man, bear, pig. <laughs> it looks like a medal for a man, bear, pig. Yeah. Uh, there. Wow. Kind of. Wow. I, you know what? The fun thing is, I <gasps> I put all these prompts in the game this morning, and I I'm really <laughs> stumped. Um. Yeah, I mean, this... I wrote these prompts last yeah. night, and I got yeah. no idea. This is... <laughs> so this is, as, as as Jeremy says, rated M for mature. Um, so this is uh, just shy of a code of conduct violation here. Just it's it's right there. You yes. know, I mean, it's I... it's on the line, and if you're not riding the line, it's really, not, what are you doing not... with your life? <laughs> it's not what you think it is. <laughs> not riding the line. It's, it's obviously not. What oh you think yeah, it man, is. bear, pig. There we go. Uh, the medal of man bear pig mongo no, tv no. on instagram no, no, it, it, there's an m and o and m g and then i screwed up and that's what the i is on the left <laughs> submitted there you <laughs> go. it's Just actually like... the word and no okay sorry well, you can't it. can't give it away because they need to uh, <laughs> yeah if it feels like cheating, oh it probably shit! Is. I just gave it away. Oh, dang, oh don't do God. that. Well, I think your audio cut out actually at the exact right time. Oh good. So it probably worked oh, out good. fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your 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 crappy rural connection saved you on that one. It's yeah. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of also you're you're the honorary Laura Santa Maria of this episode because Laura, anytime we do this, her Wi-Fi always cuts out and she has to get on her hotspot always. like consistently enough that I'm like, uh, oh yeah, I like how Aaron. Uh, 
So, someone not Kyo says, I thought that Matter Tan swooped into Mute Gen when she was giving away the answer. We're not that on top of <laughs> we we are not that on top of I things. really Sorry, liked Mongo DB on Instagram. Good. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, I like that one too. Medal of Man Bear Pig should get uh Oh I forget that I can I can vote. Some points. I can give out some likes. Man Bear Pig. <laughs> She'll just have to vote for that one. I, I get you. Now, Man Bear Pig may be a future prompt now after this. You never know. Man Bear Pig on Kubernetes. I think at this it's point, it's pretty much now. obligatory. Yeah. Well done. And the answer to MongoDB. Okay. So let's see uh, how many, uh, how, how did we get there? Oh, oh, MongoDB on Instagram got a fair, oh, Man Bear Pig got a lot of likes. So there you go. Yeah, good job. You see, good job. see how the game is pandered, played. Pander to the audience. Mm -hmm. Works every um, time. Well, go kill. there's this. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is <laughs> this is the thing that happened. Yep. <laughs> oh. I like that it says Logly. What year is this? Wow. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing my age. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. To, to the extent that we didn't know what the first one was because our minds are in the gutter, I I don't know what this is because what could this be? Right? This like is amazing. Art. Yeah. Documentation wiki. So clearly somebody needs to be setting up an NFT for this because... Yeah. <laughs> no NFTs. I will you Jason's down. already said we need to do a NFT for DevOps party games. No, he said for DevOps in general. For DevOps. Sure we can offer the DevOps. Uh, the NFT for, for DevOps. I'll sell all those uh, NFTs. Yeah. Whatever, we'll yeah. call them certifications. It's fine. There you go. It's totally. It's, yeah. it's probably fine. Well, it might we'll be a trace of a support ticket. Fine certificate that says you can do the DevOps. Great. Oh, I just oh, accidentally man. accepted a meeting on my watch that I didn't want to. Well, no. my Terraform like state. Yeah. Would oh, it cut deep? My notes from the DevOps cert class. Yes. I still don't. I don't actually know the right answer here. So <laughs> I, they all seem delightful to me. Um, man bear pig. Yes, man bear pig should be in there. Jill, it's occurred to me that you've been on twice and neither time good when Sheila. I knew you were going to be on the that episode, I've never put in a drawful prompt that's fuck the JVM. And that's a that's a failing on my part. Come on. <laughs> Matt, get your head in the game, buddy. I know, I know. It's a deep Figure cut. it out. JVM's <laughs> not so bad. Good. <laughs> a lot of hating on GraphQL today. Well, wow. I think it's a lot of hating on GraphQL full stop. I wonder why that is. Because it makes Does no sense. Does anyone actually like it? I got audience votes. No one else voted for Service Mesh, but I got audience votes. So thank yeah. you, audience. So what is the actual... Yeah, I'm curious now. Ah. Oh, wait. We're coming computing. down to the... Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, yep. it's good. accurate. I see. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't know. And There's a the reason audience, I right? host this game and I don't play. <laughs> Because the beautiful thing about being the host is you can just talk crap and you don't actually have to show up. Although, fun fact, my kids love playing Jackbox and it's impossible for me to play Jackbox and not provide color commentary and narrate it because I do this twice a month. <laughs> this one is not fair at all. Wait a yeah. minute. I Remember suspect... what we said earlier about yeah. if it feels like cheating? Remember what we said? Does anybody remember that? Okay, so if... I if think this we might have to call it technical foul. Yeah. If this isn't what it obviously is, then fair play. But if it is, points should be deducted. Except we don't know how to do that. Although I'll try to remember when I, since I uh, do arbitrarily <laughs> put the scores into the system at the end. So I don't know. We'll have to right see what happens. in Mongo, and then they'll disappear. That's, That's how you true. Take That's away. true. There you go. It could be worse. I could be the only one. QL for reels. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely voting for things that's obviously not on 90 principle. square cube QL. I really like JWT. JWT offload. It's, 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 it's Chef, really chef well. Cookbook Dependency QL. <laughs> oh, oh. Real story. Burke Shelf QL. <laughs> you know. So the problem is, is now you've got this idea of some sort of a chef QL in my head, and I don't think I like it. And I can't, I can't unget, I can't get rid of it now. 
<laughs> now you just need to register the domain name. But you can store all your cookbooks in GraphQL. <laughs> you probably could. Probably could. <laughs> I mean, like environment it's files and data bags and everything are just JSON. Why could they? You know, and instead of using Solar, you could use GraphQL. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a great idea. That one was really good. The JWT auth. I, I yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. That one was not bad. <laughs> New squiggly, QL. squiggly QL, sister project to Logsport.io. <laughs> Facebook network diagram. All right, I'm watching Probably just to see who I need to take I mean, points frankly. away from. Oh, oh, it's getting all right, so Adam. Bad. I'm going to have right. to dock it out uh, Adam. There. We'll see. We'll see where you land in there. So, I hope everybody enjoyed Adam's one and only appearance on DevOpsPartyGames.com. <laughs> if you would like to send flowers <laughs> or a condolence letter, follow. Oh, him it's on French Twitter. fries. Yeah. French fries on a conveyor belt? Uh, I, I, I can't not see French fries, which probably is more well, of a no, fact but I mean, that I haven't it, eaten lunch yet. Maybe it's like a vase and it's got like some, like a plant screwing out oh, of it. Oh, it's like an orchid? Yeah, is, is like we're a fern. DevOps orchids. <laughs> a pickle trash fire. Is that a baguette? Is that a baguette? Yeah. So wait. Okay, why is uh, people are adding Baguette Evo, but I don't see anything Evo actually said in the chat. Hey, McDonald's so Kubernetes info, with, yeah. Okay. Fair. I just had two colors to work with, so. Yes. <laughs> well, in much the same way that 640K should be enough for everybody, what's wrong with two colors? <laughs> That's right. Fair, fair. Maybe, maybe I've monochrome. got Evo muted in Twitch. The somewhere. green monochrome. Okay. But like, Get French fries and oh, oh my god! Oh, it's McDonald's Kubernetes infrastructure. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, oh, now I remember. An octopus eating a man bear pig. <laughs> or I, I do, I do like French fried man bear pig. I'm interested. Um, what Frankenstein like this is person exactly? Needs to get kicked out. How do you how yeah. do you kick people out of this here thing? So Maddie's talking about the thing that's going on in the Twitch chat. If you're not on the Twitch chat, don't worry about it. If you're on the Twitch chat, if you know how to kick someone, please let us know. Um, Again, mod me because you need to enable um, a setting in your thing. I'll oh no, I just had to figure button. out. I just had to figure out what button to click. Wait. Ah, oh, there okay. you go. Oh, the button, <laughs> Jeremy, we just, we, I just, I just undid what you did because yeah. we both yeah, tried to did. do it at the same time. Here, you take care of it, Jeremy. If only there was a way to manage state. Does anybody know how to manage state? Well, no, I... whoever it is seems to. Eventually. We'll see. Got, anyway, what, answer, so. what, what's the right answer? Oh, wait, yeah, we're playing a game. What's happening here right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was it. I mean, I will say this is the first time in the entire history of Devil's Party Games that like mods would have had to do anything. And it was relatively minor, except for when my kids are watching the I was game say it's and Cat has to kids. ban them because they become obnoxious because they're 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the security patches. It's like a dumpster fire, but there's a band-aid on them. Oh, it's a band-aid. Oh, it's a band-aid oh, band band uh, on a dumpster. Uh, uh, got, no, got, got it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's totally like Seth, Seth says, yeah. is there a Terraform provider for Twitch? There should be. Can someone write a I Terraform write provider? One. No, I need a Terraform provider for Jackbox. Because the fact that Jackbox doesn't have an API is the hardest part about running if DevOps If they don't have games. an API, you can't write a Terraform provider around the I... that doesn't exist, though. Yeah, I would, I'm going to pretend that I'm sure your customers would argue that that's we, we not a limitation. The, uh, <laughs> we can take the Kubernetes approach and write. Oh, I like uh, this. Oh, this is good. This has got some interesting. There's a, there's a lot going on here. So Kareem, I hope function. you're going to send the URL to this video to your product team, because we're got, we're full of good ideas tonight. All right, really going to help the, you all out the over Twitch there. Twitch providers out there. Oh, nice. <laughs> we're done. We've acted on this. Rin and I were talking about this in the background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen now. Just you wait. Yep. <laughs> so the question, audience, that we're posing to you tonight here, this exact moment, is what is it? What are we looking at right here? Hurry up, people. Just type Cast your vote. Yes. 
We are casting votes now. The results are rolling in. It's happening very, very slowly, just like a certain uh, national AWS bill. That's it. <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh, wow. oh, <laughs> good. This is good. This is ah, good. Ah, this is th- now something. this is solid. I love bees or something. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna vote yep. for that one. Yeah, yep. that's what I thought. Bees yep. or something is. Yeah. So now there is now the only thing I'm gonna say is for reasons there's always more prompts and drawful than we get used. So the absolutely trolling pain in the ass terrible thing that Dan put into this game may not show up, but if it does, we'll if it does not show up, we will tell you what it was. Good ran, that was good. Yeah. Bonk. Yep, VC rounds. Yep, a bonk on the Thanks, money Rin. there. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> like Evo, Evo says, it's an enterprise sales agreement. Bees or something. <laughs> There you go. Oh, it was a decoy. Decoy. Nobody got the points. Bash script. This is pretty good. Who drew this one? That was really good. Really good, yeah, Stormy. Well done, Stormy. That's excellent. Yeah, well done. That's excellent. Well done. Very, very good. Yeah. I mean, it's right. we're usually really snarky and, and we say sort of silly things and whatever, but in all sincerity, well done on that one. That was good. I didn't lose. I got some great prompts from it as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to talk because I know the answer. Uh, yeah, the problem is I know the answer here too. So. Right, right, right. Because it's actually a really good drawing. <laughs> yeah, this, so one's also, is, this one's also like, solid. If you know the answer as an audience member, you still have to come up with something that's funnier than the answer. Right, or more believable or funnier because it depends on how you're playing. You can play this game just for likes. Um, yeah. I mean... Are we not all shit posting? Yeah. As a service. As a service. We'll sell you. Shit Is there a Terraform a provider for shit posting? No, you have to. It, it's, that one's what are hard problems like people. We, we say computers are easy. People are hard. Shit posting is hard. That's when we haven't automated ourselves out of the <laughs> okay. out of a job, job yet. Maybe the Duckbill Group should start selling shit posting certifications. Sure. Oh, that could be a whole new revenue model. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So the question wow. that we're posing to you, the audience, what is it? If you haven't yet participated in the voting, now is your chance. Get on jackbox.tv, enter the code you see on your screen right now, get those votes in, because the Thought Leaderboard is everything. It's so mandatory. The only reason I decided to play is I wanted to be on the Thought Leaderboord. That I see drawn when I'm playing an MMO, an MMO and it's a complicated boss fight. And people are like, okay, stand here, Man bear eat pizza, the pizza, yeah. you run in a circle. Leroy Jenkins. I like the callback, Jill. Good oh, Leroy Jenkins. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was Zarkowski the one who pointed out that, like, there are, like, kids who were born after Leroy Jenkins, like, can drink now or something? Yeah, I think no. so. I mean, it might I'm not be that. extremely uncomfortable with that statement. There's there's something to mm-hmm. that effect. Oh, you get to do Oh my god, is that why it's called Jenkins? It should be. <laughs> Did you use it to deploy? <laughs> well done, Rin. That was, that was good. a good drawing. Nice one. For yeah, one that well is, I believe the last time we had this prompt, like in one of the first episodes, people were like, how do you fucking draw that? And that's how you draw it. Oh, that's how it's done, people. <laughs> I like it. Stormy got a bunch of likes there, so that's, that's going to help. Okay, what do we got here? Um, Enter your titles now. Roof. Where's that? I... Oh, boy, what is this? Oh, I think I know this one now. So it looks like okay, we've got some stick figures. One of them appears to be saying something to a like to a, a man bear pig. A, well, clearly that's a man bear pig. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Just like, just like what is this nonsense? <laughs> Let us fucking answer our things. Oh, did it, can we swear? No, we can't. Swear. Yes, you can. Yes, we are. Oh, oh my we god. Are rated M for the Fuck show. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's too much. That's too much. It's like a PG. Oh yeah, one. like you only, you only get like one. Casual, you only get one. Casual one. swearing. Oh, I yeah. get it. I get That's it. Right. I'm gonna oh, need you to take now. it down by about twenty percent, there, Jennifer. I'm gonna tell you, you know, there's uh, an answer. 
there is an answer in here that I think is going to have to be a future prompt, and you know, so at least uh, there's there's yes, a couple. It will be and this is not yes, what I will. thought it was, Outside? Dan. Outside? Dan, there is a different prompt body. that Good I one. thought this was. Is it Stormy again? <laughs> Probably. Outside? Service mesh for Outside? adults. Yeah, Outside. Is that I don't know what Outside is like playing? anymore. <laughs> Aaron says, I like the claws. They're my favorite. What time of year is it anyway? The outside he says, Will, Will says, that's clearly Edward Scissorhands petting his cat. <laughs> <laughs> I like service mesh for adults. That's, that's really good. That's, well, that's, that's going to be a prompt going forward. So for those of you who are interested in playing on a future episode, <laughs> get, you. your, get your sketches in now. Yeah. I'll have to start thinking what he said he knew me. <laughs> good job. Yeah, I mean, that. you know, man, bear, pig is that's solid. It's a solid answer. <laughs> no one can fault you for that. <laughs> I, mean, I, think I saw outside like, once. Right? Mm. I remember that. Really good. Yep. I so having so been part of this a, game. Yeah, oh, I mean, having been part eventually. of a Kubernetes working group, I can assure you, there's a lot of claws. Um, I thought I had no idea what this was, was, so I just yeah. made it my own. You just drew a picture. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm telling I like you, it. Cats, well done. Jeremy, I thought that that's the one I think might have to be a future prompt, but it's a little, yep. you know. Yep. I mean, I, I yep. joke, but I, I have my first Oh, this is a nice picture. I don't know what it is. Oh. But it's got it's got good use of both colors, and there's like some shading and it's colorful. Yeah. Well, I like Rex as a mental Colors. consistency. No one knows what that is. <laughs> Not wrong. Everybody likes doing battle with the cap theorem. So what are we looking at here? Is this some sort of a, uh, I mean, is it like a trophy? Is it some sort of weird snake? Is it Jeremy, uh, a monolith? There's like 14 or 15 people in the audience, Jeremy. You should be very excited. No king well, shaming. Them. I can't. I can't yell at him. So, it's great. <laughs> so I guess that's less Fantastic. exciting for you then. Yeah, it's less exciting. Dan was feel, yelling at him earlier. So I, I feel like the arrow that's pointing up has some sort of significance here, but I'm I'm not sure <laughs> well, what it I is. Would, <laughs> unless someone just got bored and was like, you know what I like to draw is arrows. Yeah. Well, who doesn't? I got really? a little bored. Um, I oh. This is this is my best drawing ever. I have to say. Which may or may not be saying something. Oh my God, at all. Great. After you, after you get the. There's some. After you get the right answer, here. there's a. Oh, there's a Aaron, yep. Aaron Aldrich has a good good pun. We need on to this. write. We need to write these. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some of these we should use again. Aaron, Aaron should give us prompts. He should. I am, for what it's worth, capturing these. So they're going to be yeah. shamelessly yeah. stolen for future episodes. Yeah. Just so everyone's aware. Yeah, that's good. As well, yeah. as well, you should. So this is the, the continuous. That one right uh, there. Jackbox. That's. Pipeline. Yes. Precisely. DevOps I do like the DevOps trophy participation trophy. On. Yeah, me to too. To go with your DevOps certificate, obviously. Yeah, you have right. to have a trophy. <laughs> Only with yep. a pro one, right? So I like the waterfall but, development here. It's, it does look like a waterfall. And this, I think that's oh, big one. You're nicely done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that enough to bring to, to come from behind? Well, I didn't oh, 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 I guess we're going to find out. That doesn't look like a lamp at all. Are you kidding? So Jeremy oh. likes to claim that he's oh, bad wow. at this. But oh, we can my clearly God. see he's not. But let's yes. really see who was the most and, popular. Because that's and I'm a terrible drawer. Adam okay. wins the likes. Wow, Adam, you are having quite the yeah. night. So it's you just came out on I'm top playing for four, the last um... time, right? <laughs> you know, ending on a high note, Adam. Well done. Yes, I got the. I got. The, you got the link, Jeremy. You know, the... Yep. So it. that uh, that brings. Oh, hey, look, it is working. Okay. Um, that I wasn't sure if our little end roll was going to work since I changed the uh, the name of the channel. By the way, if you haven't noticed, but you're all here, so you found your way here. We did rename our, our Twitch channel. Um, but anyway, this has been uh, another fantastic uh, episode of DevOps Party Games. I want to thank my co-host Frosty for you know keeping it real or whatever. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> God, I hope I hope that. Cat so not, not only was episode. it Adam's last episode, it was also Matt's last episode. So <laughs> yeah, big I round of applause for 
Well I'm done, very Matt. Over. Uh, before we uh, before we move uh, to to ending the evening or afternoon, depending on where you are, does anybody have any uh, any exciting upcoming things they want to plug? Any virtual conferences or podcasts or streams or I don't know, whatever's. Nobody is doing anything. Nobody, nobody, is nobody doing wants anything. to plug It's twenty twenty one. That's true. That's true. I was even trying to remember. I feel like I'm. I've. I've I don't know. I'm. Oh well. Uh, well, I think the CFP for Deserted Island DevOps is closed by now. So closed today. I think it closed. It? Or no, it, it oh, you today, might be able to. Uh, maybe it was. Um, yes, Aaron, you should have hosted us over on Dev- Desert Island TV. Um, oh, it's closing Friday. So oh, good. Okay, like so you the the CF. CFP for Deserted Island DevOps still up. It was my absolute favorite uh, event of last year. And if you uh, don't have a Nintendo Switch or Animal Crossing, but you are a member of an underrepresented group, submit your CFP anyway. They uh, will provide it if uh, if need be. Um, The uh, I'm I don't remember. It's sometime next month is Failover Conf uh, version 2.0. Jason's in the chat. He'll tell you when it is. Uh, but I'm hosting a fireside chat with the amazing Jeff Smith. So, you know, I don't know. Go 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 watch that or something. Um, and also, we have another episode of DevOps Party Games coming up in two weeks. Two weeks from today in the what? America's time zone. Um, featuring a whole different cadre of uh, folks. And I'll have the episode page up for that shortly. Um, because I was Future waiting until this episode leaders. was done. Future thought leaders. Yeah. Um, including uh, my podcast co-host Kelly, who does not work in tech, and but feels like she wants to talk about Kubernetes because we all talk about it on Twitter all the time. So hey, what's it will your be fun. Podcast? That's the best. Oh I well, mean, there's option. two. So there's Arrested DevOps, which is the DevOps one, but also the podcast that Kelly co-hosts with me is Keishanon, which is a podcast about conspiracy theories and food. Um, so and we have tens of listeners. Um. Or something. There are dozens of us. There are dozens. So thanks again, everybody, for joining. Thanks everybody in the audience. Um, and Woo-woo. we'll we'll see you on the next episode of DevOps Party Games. Thanks everybody, Thank you, Matt. Thank Have you, Dan. Thank you. <laughs>